you know, people are sending me pictures of this twenty-one-year-old uh, drunk driver. Yeah, that's what that's what a lot of looks like. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Do you want to go through this fucking? Dude, this guy looks like you. This guy that got pulled over. No, I doubt it. That looks like you, no? It doesn't look like that. There's Fuck a twenty-one-year-old Florida man. Fuck off, mate. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Doesn't look like me. It doesn't look like me. Fuck it doesn't off. look like me. Well, I want you know I want to be like a mentally disabled, you know, mm-hmm. like a guy, you know, he's like, a, you know, and they have like a, a like a, a like an invalid, a simpleton that they make fun of on British television. Mm-hmm. That's what that's the career I want. Yeah, it's to be a guy. They bring him on. They're like, oh, Eric, you tell us again. You saying you went to the shoe store mm-hmm. and you were surprised. You had thought. You could thought you could buy one shoe. Yeah. And I'll tell my story. Mm-hmm. I said, the price of the shoe, is that for one of them or both of them? And I, they tell me it's for both of them. And so I hand them half the money. And then they say, what's this for? And it says, because I'm only, I am only want to pay for one of the shoes. Mm-hmm. And I'll take it. And they say, you have to buy them as a pair. Yeah. And I say, well, I'll come back later. I wear the one shoe now. And... and and okay, maybe a different scenario, <laughs> a different scenario for for an idiot to be in. Yeah. Um, let me think. Why don't you prompt me? And I can be like a British, like a like. You're a, saying these are scenarios for a British, a British simpleton. I, on the show, when once we get here, we go. Who's this? Oh, what the fuck are you doing here? No, don't talk oh, to I'm her sorry. that way. <laughs> Hi, how was work? I'm doing my podcast. Are you just dropping in? Have you seen this yet? Have you seen what it looks like in here? Come look at it. And sit and be quiet. We'll be done in 10 minutes. Yeah. Did you go shopping for me? For my cold? Thanks. Thank you. What did you What did you get him? You got him cold medicine that comes in a gift bag? Uh, throat coat? Throat coat. The tea. Throat coat tea. Damn. Don't make jokes on the internet. Nobody, bu- nobody buys shit for me. I guess it's because I'm an unlikable uh, kind of a piece of shit. She'll give you some. I don't want. I don't want any fucking pity. Throw. What cut. is that? Drops. Echinacea. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. That shit was good. I was putting echinacea in my eyeball when I couldn't get antibiotics, and I think it. Uh, I think. It, <laughs> I think that's what actually permanently damaged my vision. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the, go to the office. We'll, we'll be done in a minute. Yeah. All right, so we're we're talking about British Simpleton. Yeah. All right, let's let's. I went to a rental car place and I said, well, mm-hmm. I, you know, "What's the rate for?" They said, "You know, the car costs a hundred and seventeen pounds. They call it say call eighty five quid a day." Okay. And I, said, and I got my pen, pencil out, my calculator, and I said, "And uh, and what's it cost at night?" <laughs> Everyone laughed at me in the place. So you're you're being like a Carl Pilkington? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, I guess. So a bit, like a, like like a British a mongoloid. It's, 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 it's kicked. Kicked. Well, now I'm getting, now I'm feisty. Now you're my, pissed. my addiction. Now you're pissed. His addiction to... I got my pencil, right. my calculator, and I said, what's it costing? Mm-hmm. Like? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. What, um, mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm trying to think. Um, you went to the... You went to the bank, right? Mm-hmm. And you wanted to open up an account. Yeah. Oh no, I went to. I went. I was on a plane, and I was started mm-hmm. chatting up the guy. And the guy next to me, they make you. You know, he put the seatbelts on, mm-hmm. and he said, uh, "You know, what the hell are these for? Mm-hmm. Seatbelt on an airplane?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "You know, in case the airplane gets into a co- uh, car accident." <laughs> and he said, "Well, then you'd be dead. You know, the plane. Mm-hmm. You mean if the plane crashed?" And I said. Yeah, but not if it gets into a car accident. Mm-hmm. Because some of the time the plane is driving. <laughs> and what if a car drives? <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to need the seatbelt. Yeah, it's true. And he said, oh, you're one of those British... You're one of those idiotic British guys. <laughs> okay. uh, I said, I went to a store. I wanted to buy a chair. And mm-hmm. they had this chair they said this one's a lazy boy mm-hmm. and I said why is it called that and mm-hmm. it says because it reclines or whatever mm-hmm. and I said well, wouldn't that be a better name for the wheelchairs the lazy boy and they said no because those people they can't walk they're making a choice not to 
And I said, oh, I've offended again, haven't I? Yeah. I've done something offensive. And now you're gonna now the fucking the political correctness. It's a bit weird. You got to mix your own paint when you get it home from the store. You yeah. Why don't they? Yeah. They got the, they mix it at the store, but you got to mix it again. Yeah. Why? I don't know how they can't figure out how to make the paint mix. But you can go to the groceries. You the grocery. To, you can go to the what are they called there? The, the grocery. Yeah. You the, can you can go to the pineapple ninny down on the corner, and they'll mm-hmm. show you they got peanut butter and jelly in the same can now. Yeah. So I said, "Fuck it, I'll just I painted my house some peanut butter and jelly." <laughs> 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 That's like a Jack Handy. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Know. I don't know. That's I'm, I'm great. trying to think of dumb ones. That's good. Yeah. Let's just let's keep going with this. <laughs> I like the one about a car <laughs> getting in a car accident with the plane. <laughs> you haven't noticed how some of the plugs they got two of the eyes and some of them got three. Three, yeah. And I said, "What was that for?" And they said, "It's for ground." And I said, "But it's all the way up on the wall." <laughs> and they're like, "It's a different kind yeah, of ground." Yeah, a different kind of ground. And I was like, "What do you mean?" And they said, "It's the ground for the electricity." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "What do you mean the ground for electricity?" Mm-hmm. And then they tried to explain it to me, and I got a nosebleed, and I had to stop listening to them. Mm-hmm. It's where we use stuff all the time, and we don't know how it works. Mm-hmm. You know, like the alarm clock. How does it know to go off at 6 a.m.? Yeah, because it's a, it's a clock. Yeah, but how is it? Uh, I guess, yeah. Are you program it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's how I would know. <laughs> but how does the alarm part know at 6 a.m.? You say you said it though. But the clock is the clock does the clock. The clock tells the time. <laughs> They're working together. But the alarm is the bells on the top. <laughs> yeah, it just How did the bells? A signal. <laughs> the bells. <laughs> how did the bells? <laughs> how did the bells? But what about the bells? But what, how, why what did, about the bells? Why is there two of the bells? It's because they want to look like ears. No, because the, the bells, if they're knocking together, then I they figured they could save a lot of money if there was only one, one bell. bell. That's true. I went to the store and I but said, then it'd be like you're getting woken up like at a hotel said, desk. I'll pay for it, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I said, I'll take this, but I'm not paying for the extra bell. No. They try and they try and charge you more. They throw another bell on there. Yeah, why do they have that? They have the thing at the hotel. At the hotel the desk, thing. the one bell. What the hell is that guy doing in the back? Yeah, I know. What the bloody hell is he doing in the back there? It's annoying. Well, every other job you got to be at the counter. But if a hotel, you're allowed to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. You're allowed to fuck off to the back. Yeah. And then some guy had the, the world's most pussy bell in the world. You I went. Ding, 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 ding. I went. You know what I did? I went to the hotel. I pulled up. I brought all my luggage in. The guy wasn't there. I saw the bell. I got offended. I left a note. I got my notepad out that I do math on when I get into arguments. And I wrote, I wrote, I'll tell you what, mate. I'm going to go to my car. Why don't you ring the bell when you're ready for me? And I left a note there. Ended up sleeping in, in my car in the parking lot for th- three and a half days. <laughs> Saved myself three nights of hotel stay. He never rang the bell. Probably a thousand quid. I said about fifteen thousand quid. Fifteen. Th- I don't think it'd be that much for three nights. Forty, forty and a half, forty-eight half, forty-eight half million quid. <laughs> And I went on a vacation. With I went on holiday with it. What do you do? What do you do for a I job? went to Puerto Rico. I saw all, all the places where they filmed Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Eight. I saw the, the beginning. I went to La Pola, the per, whatever the bad neighborhood is called. Mm-hmm. And they said, uh, you know, you I can't... think La Perla's in women's underwear. Well. Yeah, whatever the fuck it's called. I went down there. Yeah. And I went to the bad neighborhood. And I took pictures. I was taking pictures with the camera. Yeah. And some guy came up and he said, you know, you're not allowed to take pictures here. They'll pull a gun on you. They'll kill you if you take pictures. And I showed him the camera roll and it was all, uh, you know, it's a it's a pretend camera for mongoloids. <laughs> <laughs> it's for babies. <laughs> and, uh, they, it doesn't even have service. It does. It's not. Yeah, it's made out. It's filled with candy. Yeah. Yeah. It was a Fisher Price. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do at least one of these. It's actually funny. No, I think the car accident with the plane was good. You know, what sort of things like a British idiot would say? Um, I was what on the plane. On the yeah. I was on the plane and they told me, I need to put my seat back forward. Mm-hmm. I said, how's it supposed to go back? And forward 
at the same good. time. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. They tell you to put your seatbelt on. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so, sometimes I don't do it. Mm-hmm. And they just, <laughs> they kind of just drop it. <laughs> they don't really give you a hard time. Yeah. Yeah. You get pissed when they tell you to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It annoys me too, but I do it. Mm-hmm. But I kind of like being securely in the chair. Mm-hmm. But that's only because I'm a conformist. Like you, they say put your phone on uh, airplane mode. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what the hell is that? Mm-hmm. They say it turns off all the radios. <laughs> and I said, I don't even know my phone had a radio. Yeah. This whole time I could have been listening to how is Mickey and Mickey and Amelia. <laughs> 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 this, whole <time. laughs> this whole time. This whole time. This whole time I could have been listening to Afternoon Drive, Mickey and Amelia. <laughs> to 95 Rock. <laughs> What's it, 98, 98 Rock? 98 Rock, yeah. yeah. This whole time. I could You're been, telling me. This whole time I could have been listening to Sports Junkies. <laughs> I could have been listening to Mike and the Mad Dog. Yeah, I said, my phone, it's not a radio, it's a phone. It's and a I said, phone. Even, even if it was a radio, how would a, how would a radio? Idiot. How would a radio? Idiot. It's a phone. How it's would, not a radio. How would a radio even know what time the alarm was? Exactly. <laughs> That's a good question. How would a radio even know it was uh-huh. um, What's a... You know, have you noticed that you see the drawings of sperm, mm-hmm. but when you it comes out, it doesn't look like that at all. Yeah, it's like a liquid. Yeah. It's like how, you know, <laughs> drawing of a heart. Imagine <laughs> 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 you go to the doctor. <laughs> Mine doesn't look like this. I went to the doctor. I went to the NHS. <laughs> NHS. I said, mine came out as a liquid. It's not a little tadpole fella. I thought I was going to have all these tadpole fellas. I thought the tadpole fellas would come out, but it wasn't. But it's just like a liquid in it. Yeah. It's a liquid. It's not fair. I got everyone was not mad at me at Easter this year because I found all the eggs. Uh-huh. And they said, that's for the children. And I said, well... No, obviously it's not because I did it. Yeah, sort of. If it were. <laughs> <laughs> if it was just for the children, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. How would I would be able to? There's certain things that are just for children, like going through a tiny door or the play place at McDonald's. So right. I can't fit in there. You can't do that. I can go find eggs any fucking time. <laughs> I stayed, I was up drinking the night before. I saw where they hit all of them. Now children wake up 10, 11 a.m. They're crying. My mouth is covered in chocolate. I love this guy. He's such a dick. (laughs) (laughs) Guys. Everybody's mad about inflation. I said, what's that? They said, everything's getting more expensive. Yeah, like a balloon. And they said, the price has got to come down. And I said, well, it's just basic. They say this, it's just supply and demand. Is it? The supply is low and the demand's high, but they forget that that's all. There's a third thing. Stealing. Mm-hmm. If something becomes too expensive, then you say, fuck it, I'm not paying for this, and you steal it. Yeah. You have, it's not, you worry about the companies, and it's, it's on us to start nicking things. Yeah, here and yeah. There. Then you got to start nicking. I've been stealing medicine. What do you still? It's on the, I was on the the lorry, the train. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the we, truck. Whatever we, I was on the lorry. I think it was the truck. Whatever the fuck we call the train. Yeah. There's an elderly woman next to her. I, I, next to me, I went to her purse and I still I nicked her medicine. Yeah. And now I've been taking it. I've never felt better. You feel good. <laughs> I've never felt better. <laughs> I think they should give. Why do you have to wait until you're an old lady to start taking the old lady? That's a good question. You start taking it now for free. Yeah. And you're fixing the economy while you're doing it. That's a good idea. Because it drives down prices of the medicine. Because the old old bird, she's got to go back to the pharmacy and say, Mongoloids nicked me (laughs) me medicine. (laughs) (laughs) A fucking another one of these Mongoloids off the lorry nicked me medicine. Yeah, yeah. They do do the lorry job. She said, I'm buying it again. But this time I'm paying half because he got nicked. And that's how the prices go down. That's how they go down. You say, I'm not paying for the bill. I'm only paying for one of the shoes. Yeah. 
and I've, I'm nicking all the medicine <laughs> off the old birds and I'm driving the prices down. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not waiting on the queen to I do it. I think that the supply is getting smaller if you do that because then there's less medicine for people to buy. Fuck off. And I think also medicine is free. That's true, it is free. free. In the UK. But it's going to, here's the thing, <laughs> this is how the economy works. Okay. You keep stealing it, eventually you're going to pay you to take the medicine. Yeah. Because it'll drive the prices down so far that people say, <laughs> why even get the free medicine anymore? It's just going to get nicked by a lorry mongoloid. Sure, <laughs> Jerome Powell, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, oi, Jerome. They say, Jerome. How'd you, you come up with that? Are you up to your, your bollocks again? You up to your nonsense? It's St- stealing medicine off the old birds. <laughs> That's, that's my plan for fixing the economy. I'm telling you, it's made me smarter. <laughs> the medicine. One of these days, I'll be able to read a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't know actually what kind of medicine it is? No idea. But it, oh, it's all the same. It's all the same. All medicine is, you know, they try different things and something works. And then you and take say, it. all right, fuck it. We'll give fuck it a it. we'll give it a fancy name and pretend like we came up with it. Yeah, yeah. As if it isn't some just fucking fuck off. Yeah, mixing up chemicals. Off. Yeah, yeah. Mixing, Who saying, are you? Let's try this. Yeah, yeah. Half the half the medicine we have came <laughs> from the Holocaust. <laughs> That's and true. we're not going to get any new medicine until they do another one. <sighs> they had a lot of trials, a yeah. lot of trials, a lot of errors too. Yeah, a couple errors. That's why they had to do all these coronavirus. That's why they did it for trials. For trials, yeah, yeah. It's weird that they call them medical trials, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, well, let me ask you this then. <laughs> who's going to jail? Right. <laughs> if it's a trial, who's going to jail? Because it's not going to be me, mate. It's not going to be me. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Just the smugness, <laughs> the smugness of the check and made point that he's just made. <laughs> Who's going to jail? It's not going to be me, mate. I'll it's not going to be me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going back to jail. I'm not doing it. Not for, not for, not for Pfizer. <sighs> All right. Bye. Thanks, folks. Patreon.com slash TAFS. Bye.